Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, just as kind of a real quick, kind of informal, quick video on the uh, the lithium iron batteries. I've been getting some questions. I have some more information for you. I am going to do an on paper comparison between a similar AGM battery and then the lithium iron battery. In fact, um, I'm going to be receiving some sample batteries, some 12 volt batteries. You've already seen the 3.3 volt batteries. I'm still going to use those for testing, but the, uh, the idea and the most interest seems to be the 12 volt drop in lithium iron batteries. So I will be receiving some of those and I will be doing some head to head comparisons between the uh, absorbent glass mat batteries or AGM, which is what I use for my house, and the lithium iron batteries. I'm going to set up a test situation where it's going to be identical across the board identical draws from identical inverters from identical sources so it'll be a nice comparison video I'm getting a lot of questions on lithium iron what it is I'm compiling some notes together because I'm still learning this technology as well but I can see the clear advantages to it and there's obviously one disadvantage and that's price but we'll obviously I'll get into that later um, where you can get these batteries, you can order them through the Power Inverter store that PowerJet currently runs in the United States. Supplies are extremely limited and they have to boat these batteries across uh, to the United States simply because of obviously flight and so on. So they have to go on a boat. So if you order them the 12 volt drop-in battery that's 100 amp hours is $1,299. That does include the shipping and that does include a battery management system. So you can plug them right into a power jack inverter and let the power jack inverter do the charging. Or if you already have a charging system set up, such as a flex charge charge controller, um, you know, there's uh, midnight solar charge controllers, there's outback charge controllers, uh, any charge controller you have will work with this battery so long as you have a 12 volt battery that has the battery management system built in so if you are interested in purchasing these obviously go to the website um, I'll leave a link in the description and you can buy them but as I said before the quantities are incredibly limited um, PowerJack just started offering these on their website kind of to test the waters to see where there was interest and when I had noticed that he had these on here, I asked for a sample so that I could actually test them. I've been reading a little bit about them. And the if you watch my previous video, you'll know that I was kind of blown away at the performance of these uh, particular batteries, the 3.3 the volt batteries. 12 volt battery will perform essentially the same, except for obviously it's in a in a easy package with the battery management system already built into the battery. Um, so that will be coming soon. If you want to order them, trust me when I say that it is well worth the extra cost. If you look at cost per cycle, you're already way ahead by three to five times. Okay. I'm being serious. Cost per cycle. The weight is a third of the weight, a third to two thirds, depending on which kind of battery you get different manufacturers and so on. And the output is five to ten times an AGM battery. You are a win, 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 except for the price. But this is one of those long-term investments. This is not something that if you're looking for a short-term investment, wet cell batteries, that's the way to go. And it's probably going to be the way to go for the next ten years or so. If you're looking for a long-term investment, a high performance battery that you don't even have to worry anything about, that you don't have to worry about managing depth of discharge or anything else like that. If you want that convenience as well as extremely long life, then the uh, LifePo batteries, LifePo 4 batteries or lithium iron phosphate batteries are the way to go. There are very few suppliers of these batteries right now. PowerJack is starting to build up their inventory and is going to start offering these not only for sale individually but also down the road they're going to have kits um, off-grid kits down the road they're going to have um, you know um, all
all-in-one um, power stations. They have one online right now. Uh, he doesn't have any in stock though, but uh, they are working on that, and that's you know that's a huge, big, tall power station. He has some other stuff on the line. I can't talk to you uh, or can't uh, you know announce yet. Um, so anyway, stay tuned for that. And I know that the number one complaint right now and the number one comparison is the price. But considering the advantages and considering the cost per cycle, it's a bargain. It really is. And these batteries are definitely the future of uh, solar and wind energy storage. They are. For those, you know, if you're not going with something like a Tesla station or a Tesla battery or something like that, this is definitely the way to go for those of you who are looking at getting into off-grid who are going to build up a system that's going to last you 20 25 years that will be able to power your house that will give you the convenience of being able to basically run whatever you want um that that hands down right there that is the future and while i don't see traditional wet cell AGM style batteries going away anytime soon. I definitely see much like um, nickel metal hydride um, batteries of former, you know, cell phones and battery chargers and so on. Those were the king, and then lithium iron took over as the king. And I can see lithium, excuse me, lithium ion. I always get those two mixed up. I can definitely see lithium iron taking over for lithium ion or any other. Uh, type of battery out there the advantages are just all there and yes the price is a bit much right now it's gonna obviously come down because this is new technology but um, so anyway in summary the 3.3 volt batteries that are on the website the $249 currently as of this video each and they do not have a battery management system built in so you would need a specially battery management system you cannot just hook those up to a power jet converter or a regular charge controller or anything else like that unless you had a specific set of management uh, protocols already in place for that particular battery but the 12 volt batteries that are $12.99 as of this video include the shipping include the battery management system already there all in one so literally it's a it's a drop and go I mean that's literally what it is in the future, I'm hoping to be able to pick up a good 20 to 24 of these batteries, running them in 48 volts, and <laughs> I'm not going to have any problems. But this is one of those things where I was looking at, an, at a, a huge investment in batteries to be completely off the grid and self-sufficient and never have to worry about anything grid-related, and that was going to be the initial major investment. Well... <laughs> This, this is leaps and bounds above that. Trust me, it is. And I'm really getting excited uh, for this battery technology. So anyway, I will have a nice com uh, comparison video with some real-world tests. Um, obviously, I can't test the cycles because I can't charge and discharge them all the way down 8,000 times. I mean, that would take years. <laughs> um, but um, I can give you, you know, as good as I can comparison it's not gonna be scientific or lab or anything else like that it's just i'm sitting on my messy bench here and i will test them for you so but i can tell you that if you buy them now you're from whatever company it doesn't matter you can get on amazon and there are lithium uh iron batteries with battery management systems similar in there um slightly less expensive um but then again they're probably um, they're probably able to get them for cheaper because they buy more quantities. The price will probably start coming down here pretty soon, but don't quote me on that. So if you're looking at those batteries, I am going to get as soon as I can, as soon as I receive a couple of these 12 volt sample batteries, I will get them on the bench. But before that, I'll get an on paper comparison, pros and cons. I'll take care of all that. I've been really really busy lately, as you can see. I've been <laughs> neck deep in work. I've been trying to do a lot of different things at once, working on the house. Of course, you got kids, and I have another full-time job, so um, it's been it's been really difficult. Um, so anyway, there you go. 
there you have it. I will get that out as soon as possible. Stay tuned for that and take care.